Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So this video has been long awaited and today we are going to be going over the whole brand of Mary Kay. Now like I don't have everything for Mary Kay here, but I have quite a bit and we are going to go through products that I definitely don't recommend, products that I definitely recommend, and then products that I think are okay but I don't necessarily think you should go run out and spend your money on them. Now none of these are knocked to the brand of Mary Kay. I think that Mary Kay is an exceptional brand. My grandma works for that brand and she sells Mary Kay and all of her products work for some person or another. And just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean that they won't work for you. So just take some of my um, regrets here with a grain of salt because if you have a different skin type than me, different skin tone than me, then maybe they will work more beautifully for you. So let's just go ahead, hop right into this video. So we are going to go over the worst product in my opinion from the brand and it's not even that bad. Like I have a friend that uses this all the time and it's from their clear proof line it's from their clear proof line and um it's their clarifying cleansing gel now i i this is for cleaning your face not removing your makeup and i like going over my eyes whenever i wash my face and it kind of burns them <laughs> it really really hurts your eyes and my friend is just like well don't get it in your eyes but i'm like you have to wash underneath your eyes and she's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, yes, you do. So we all have different ways of washing our face. But um, if you decide to go with this um, for your skin, then I would not recommend putting this near your eyes because it really, really hurts like a lot. Like I'm crying <laughs> afterwards. But that's really like the only bad thing about this product. Like it works. It kind of dries out my skin though because once again, it's meant for the uh, type of skin with more oily skin and I have dry skin. How many times can you say skin in a sentence? Okay, now that we got the bad out of the way, at least in my opinion bad, we're going to go into like the mediocre good stuff, okay? So we are going to just do everything in the eye category first, and then we are going to go into the skincare section, and then we're going to go into the face section, all right? So basically, I think all of their eyeliners are mediocre. Like, they're good, but, like, they're not, like, go run out and buy. They're the most amazing thing ever. I have um, this shade bronze. I have the shade navy. I'm using navy on my lower lash line right now. And then I also have these um, coal eyeliners, and basically the gimmick with this is you can smudge it out on the end and that's actually really nice I guess um but I have it in the shade Mulberry Forest and Golden Illusion. I do think that these are a lot creamier than um, these are, but I, I still don't think they're like, go run out and buy your money. They're not the most amazing eyeliner in the whole world because they're also not the, like, the cheapest. If they were like really inexpensive, then I would say go run out and buy your money because they're like really, like, you know, like they're pretty, they're pigmented, but they're just not worth the amount of money that Mary Kay sells them for. Um, so I think that they're better out there at the drugstore, but like they're good. They're good products. They work. Moving on from eyeliners, we have their powder eyeshadow. I only have one from her and it is their mineral eye color in the shade hazelnut. And it is just this gorgeous cool toned brown hazelnut color. <laughs> and it's a very, very soft eyeshadow, but the pan is so tiny. And if you're going to buy like a palette size worth it's going to end up being $45 and your palette is going to include six eyeshadows so I don't think that they're worth your money the palette is so so tiny it's a really good eyeshadow formula but I think Mary Kay needs to update their format of their makeup products and then they will probably be able to sell to a wider audience all right moving on to cream eyeshadows so I have this one in the shade metallic taupe and it is a gorgeous purpley taupe shade. Um, their cream eyeshadows are quite slippery. However, they're also very thin and you should really only layer it once or twice at most. If you layer it any more than that, it's gonna look really crackly and it's just going to make you look way older on your um, eyes than you ever are. And I'm not that old, but like it can crease quite badly if you're not careful with the amount that you put on. Um, and it also 
like it's a gorgeous color but um it's just meant for a more natural look and i really appreciate it whenever i do just one layer or two layers it just adds a little bit of color and it's really easy to apply with your finger but once again not worth running out and spending your money there's cheaper out there like the l'oreal um cream eyeshadows or the revlon cream eyeshadows those are cheaper than this and i think that they work uh just as good if not better so now moving on to these puppies these are also cream eyeshadows from mary Kay, and they're little duos and i have the shade summer sunset and soleil estival estival and then also stonewashed and um a, a other french name that i can't pronounce um but they're just like this beautiful blue and that gorgeous brown i've used this less i've used the blue more out of this one but they're kind of like putty um and they're they're really really pretty but once again they kind of don't stick to your eye they kind of just fade away really quickly actually um so not my super duper favorite but like they're really pretty while they last and then like this one i would say is my most used one and it really just accentuates your eyes just to put on the lid just so for a little bit of shimmer and shine and a little bit of color and i think it's really pretty but once again it doesn't stick it can kind of crease throughout the day um if you have like hooded eyelids or something like that so you'd have to be aware of that so once again not an a plus product but i give it a solid b Moving on to eyeshadow sticks. So I have the shade Green Tea, which is a green color, and there it is right there. It's actually quite a pretty eyeshadow, but once again, it's kind of more of a slippery formula, um, and it can crease throughout the day if you have hooded eyelids. Now, I don't. I don't have a problem with creasing, but whenever I use this on other people, they have a problem with creasing, so it's not going to work for everybody. And then there's also this gold mine shade, and I actually really, really like this when you put another shadow on top of it they're just not pretty on their own and that's the only reason why i'm not putting these in the favorite category all right and then also i have their mascara and this is the last eye product from like the good category and i have their uh, lash intensity mascara and it just has like this gigantic wand on it it's actually really 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 nice but um it does have some fallout throughout the day once and it's like they're just better out there in the drugstore and that's the only reason why i'm not putting it in like the super favorite category because it's more expensive than it needs to be and i found better mascaras at the drugstore <coughs> essence five bucks <laughs> um all right moving on to the skincare now Alrighty, so uh, first off, we have this Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner. I think that this is an okay toner, but I think it's like $16, $17, and it comes with a good amount of product in it, but we can home make one from like a witch hazel, and you get like 10 ounces in that bottle, and it's just, I have other toners that work, and I think that this does a pretty good job for what it's supposed to do, but it's just not my favorite, and also for oily skin, so... You know, I could use something with a little bit more hydration in it as far as the toner goes. Um, the last thing from the clear proof line, the last thing from the clear proof line, clear proof line I'm going to mention is the oil free moisturizer for acne prone skin. This is a good moisturizer if you have oily skin. I just have dry skin, so it's not my favorite. Um, but I took this traveling with me, and you know, it worked, but it just did not give my skin enough. And I was also in a less humid area of the country, so it just nah it just kind of just no it kind of failed me on that perspective um and then we're going to their botanical effects line and this is for like drier to normal skin so i have been using their cleanser for a little while and i just don't think it does enough um it it just doesn't do enough. Once again, it's not there to remove makeup. It's there to cleanse your skin. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. It's not going to take off all the shimmer particles of your eyeshadow or your mascara or anything like that. It's there to cleanse your face. It kind of just feels like I'm rubbing a lotion on my face, which is nice if you have dry skin in the wintertime. But in the summertime, it's kind of like... I need a little help here <laughs> and it's not really giving me that help um that i need so moving on to their botanical effects line again but this is their mask and this is actually quite a nice mask i do enjoy it but once again i found less expensive masks that do 
like kind of the same thing it's a hydrating mask and then once you like um once it dries and you rinse it off your face it kind of exfoliates your skin i i just have found better masks and i just prefer others than this um i think it's okay but once again i wouldn't run out and spend your money on it all right and then we're going into the mediocre face products so this light to medium bronzer is in this category because it has a lot of sh glitter shimmer particles in it i want to say glitter because like they're not all throughout but if you just knock off your brush um they'll kind of fall out so you don't have to worry about that being on your face but there it is right there i just have to use a very very light hand whenever i use this product because it is so much darker than my skin tone so i really have to be aware of what i'm doing whenever i use this product once again the packaging is just very flimsy that's what you're going to get with mary Kay products unless you buy one of their other magnetic palettes to put it in i'm just not a huge fan of that setup so yeah that's why it's in the okay pile. And then I've been using their CC cream um, with uh, SPF 15 in it for about a year now, so it's probably expired, honestly. But I have the fairest shade, and that shade is very light, and it's still not light enough. It's still quite orange on my skin. Um, so once again, it's not like the highest covering thing. It's a CC cream, but um, I... I, it's just it's not my skin color you know like that's very orange I don't know I think the natural light is probably washing it out but it is just so much more orange than my skin actually is and I can only get away with this in the summertime um which is fine um but yeah I do however really enjoy their packaging their squeezy tube with the pump that's my favorite I also like how it comes with a cap so you don't have to worry about that for traveling it's just it is a really nice product but um the smell of SPF is kind of overwhelming and their shade range is really really bad um and yeah so on both ends of the spectrum as you can imagine so uh, last but not least, last but not least for their okay products um, is the Mary Kay Liquid Illuminator. I need to stop saying Mary Kay in front of everything. That's just by habit of talking in other videos. I have shade one and it's just like this pale opal pink shade and it, it looks really, really pretty in the packaging. Plus you get a full uh, fluid ounce in this, which is amazing. It comes in a squeezy tube, but it is, it, it, it's the formula dude the formula so that's kind of what it looks like right there um it's um it's kind of like watery but it's it has a lot of glitter in it and you can see the glitter particles on your skin like it's like all of the pigment washes off and then you just have glitter particles left on your skin and that is just not very pretty in my opinion um but you can kind of make it work, which is why it's in the okay pile. Um, I I have a way of making most things work with makeup because, I mean, I'm, I'm not that rich and people don't send me products. So I kind of like make it work with what I've got. Um, so it's, a, it's an okay product. It leaves a pretty nice sheen. But just all the pigment flies away, and then by the end of the day, you're just left with glitter. So that's why it's in the okay pile. So now all the okay stuff is out of the way, let's move on to favorites. And I have quite a bit of favorites to make up for all the okays and the bad one. Oops, okay. <laughs> so let's do skincare first. So this Mary Kay Botanical Effects Moisturizing Gel. This is an amazing product. I think that this was this in my favorites I don't know it might have been in my favorites my most recent favorites video thing um it is really good for putting on before makeup I use this as a moisturizer in the morning and it is just a really good lightweight moisturizer it's especially in the summertime it sinks in like that the fragrance is very pleasant in it and I don't know I just it's really really nice um i i like it a lot <laughs> it's it's really good um and then this was also in my favorites i'm pretty sure and it is their clear proof acne treatment gel this is the only thing from the clear proof line that i have found to work for me it is the best pimple cream on the face of the earth i have been consistently using this whenever i have pimples and it just immediately works overnight pimple gone it just like peels off in the morning it's really weird but it's it's awesome and the active ingredients is in this is benzoyl peroxide five percent of it 
So if you know that your skin reacts well to benzoyl peroxide, then I would highly, highly recommend this, especially with the amount of product you get in here too. So yeah, highly recommend. Um, and then the last skincare item that I have to share with you guys from Mary Kay that I really enjoy is their... Um, Botanical Effects Freshening Mist, and it is just the nicest, like, refreshing mist ever. And their mister is actually kind of powerful, so you're gonna have to, you have to hold it far, far away. But um, it, it dries really quickly, and it's just really nice throughout the summer days um, to just kind of refresh, and it smells really nice, but like there's no fragrance in it it's all natural um and i i thoroughly enjoy that and i just find that it kind of rehydrates my makeup and makes everything look fresh <laughs> okay so moving on to the face products from mary Kay that i really enjoy so their blushes their blushes are fantastic i can ignore the packaging for the amazingness of these blushes my favorite 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 shade is the mary Kay shy blush um i have talked about this many a time in some of my past favorites videos and I think I've used this a lot in Get Ready With Me's, but there is a swatch of Shy Blush right there. See how pigmented that blush is? So you have to be aware. I would recommend a naturally bristled brush to apply this blush. <laughs> Whew, can't talk. <laughs> um, but I just really think that this is such a unique because the base is a cool tone pink, but then you have some gold shimmer in it and it's just really stunning on the cheeks. You don't need any highlight with it or anything. And then more recently added to my collection is this blush called Citrus Bloom. It is a matte blush and it is just a gorgeous corally pink. It is very intense. So once again, natural um, bristled blush brush is necessary so there is citrus bloom right there it is just so beautiful and then with 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 shy blush right next to citrus bloom you can really see the cool tone elements in shy blush um <clears throat> so yeah mary Kay blushes are fantastic they last all day long and those are worth your money i'm pretty sure they're like 12 bucks a piece and you get 0.18 ounces in each pan um, and then my favorite contour slash bronzer is this cream to powder foundation by Mary Kay. I really, really like this with my e.l.f. Um, what is it called? e.l.f. blending brush. And I, I thoroughly enjoy this as a bronzer and a contour, even though it's a foundation. I wouldn't really recommend this as a foundation unless you get it in your specific shade to conceal. Um, but I would not recommend this as an all over foundation, even if you have oily skin. I just think that it would look very cakey in that way, but as a bronzer and as a contour, I think it looks fantastic. It smooths out the skin, and I really just like it in those specific areas, but all over the face, it would be too much. Um, okay, and then the last thing for like the cheeks and everything is this Mary Kay Cream Blush in the shade Cranberry. I also think I mentioned this in my favorites. Uh, I really, really like this uh, with a stippling brush, not a sponge. Too intense with a sponge, too intense with your fingers. Um, but there is a swatch of it right there so you can really see how dark it is. So, but blended out, it really just gives the most natural, rosy glow and healthy glow to your cheeks ever. And it is even less pigmented and like what is it? streaky than this with a stippling brush it really applies well like that um so don't be intimidated by this specific color i'm sure that they have other shades in this line i haven't really checked but um this cream blush is fantastic it is the only cream blush that i found that lasts all day long it is fantastic um, okay, last two things for the face. So this Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in the shade Deep Ivory is really, really beautiful. It just gives such a natural um, look to the under eye and it really kind of, I don't want to say smooths out the fine lines, but it kind of almost makes them look invisible because it just cancels everything out so beautifully. And there's something special about this formula. I just really, really find it beautiful. Um, I do find that you need to set this in order for nothing to crease, um, but that's most concealers, and it does a fantastic job covering. You can see in the mistakes I've made with concealers video that I did a long time ago. Um, that's This is the concealer I used. It was hard to make it look bad because it was such a good concealer. So yeah, 
there's that. Um, and then, last but certainly not least for the face, is this Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. I used this in my last uh, Get Ready With Me video, and it is seriously a fantastic finishing spray. Uh, it really holds your makeup in all day long, and I really, really, really appreciate that as somebody that's like not just sitting in a chair whenever she has her makeup done, like, sh like I'm everywhere after that. Sometimes I get sweaty and this holds it all in. So I really, it's a really good uh, makeup finishing spray. It's like glue on your face. Um, but the mister is also really good too. So that's an A plus from me. Um, I have one um, thing for the eyes in this department and it is the cream eye color again but this is in the shade pale blush I really really love this and I think that it is just the most beautiful eye color that you could ever put on your lid there is a swatch of it right there it's really really faint but um, just applied lightly all over to the eyes you can kind of see some uh, an ethereal glow kind of just sparkle onto your lids as you kind of turn your head in the sun it's really really beautiful it's such a unique product um and i also have used this as concealer before just in the inner corners i wouldn't drag it down too far because it's very it would be too thick as a concealer um but as an eyeshadow it's really beautiful and it cancels out anything and just on a natural day i really highly recommend pale blush by mary Okay, it is one of the most beautiful things ever. Okay, um, I have two brushes from Mary Kay and they both made it into the favorite category because Mary Kay makes really, really good brushes. So I have their cream color eye brush and this actually came with one of the cream eyeshadows that I had purchased and it is a beautiful, beautiful um, brush. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. Um, but I usually don't use it for cream eye color. I love it for powder eyeshadow just to like place all over the lid kind of sloppily on a really quick day for makeup. Um, or like it's really perfect to get right into the brow bone and sometimes I'll even use it to like focus highlight in a specific part of my face. I think it's just really good at a multitasking situation like that. So yeah, um, the cream eye color brush from Mary Kay is really good. It's withstood a lot of washes too. I highly recommend this. And then also their liquid foundation brush is really, really fantastic. I don't use it as for liquid foundation. I have in the past, but I just find that um, either a sponge, my fingers, or like more of a buffing brush for foundation is better for me. So I prefer to use this as concealer. This um, blends out concealer perfectly. It absorbs just the right amount of product and it just blends everything out perfectly. I really really like how it um, uh, works. And then also just like the look of the brushes is very sleek and modern and they once again have withstood a lot of washes. A lot. Um, and then my last four things are lips. Um, I actually have five lip colors from Mary Kay but one is missing. It is the lip gloss in the shade uh, Cafe A Lot and I've mentioned it in past lip picks and past favorite past favorite past favorites videos but I cannot seem to find it anywhere so I'm really really sad about that because that's one of my favorites um, but that is an A plus two for me um, and then I also have this shade in the I think it's called mellow no it's called mauve moment um, and it's just a gorgeous pink um, this is one of my favorite 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 pink lipsticks and it melted in my purse last summer and I, it's hasn't been the same since, so I'm kind of like, it's on its last leg, but there's kind of a swatch of it. It's very messy because the lipstick's kind of broken, um, but you kind of get the gist of it. It's usually more pigmented when I can apply more pressure. It's a sloppy swatch, but you get the gist. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful pink. Um, and then this lipstick what kind of lipstick is this because um, Mary Kay has three four kinds of lipsticks um this was their soft matte and then or cream matte I can't remember and then there's like these shiny lipsticks and then take note because this took me forever to learn how to open this so you press the top where you can see through to the top of the lipstick you press that down and then this pops out okay so then you just twist it up and I have the shade Sienna Brulee Sienna 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 Brulee I don't know it kind of I, I don't know how to pronounce it for sure but it's that kind of area and this reminds me of basically um, a lip gloss and a lipstick 
it's very very shiny it's very very pigmented too so it's more of like a lip lacquer i guess you could say um and it's just a gorgeous deep nude color i love this in the fall and even like with smoky eyes in the summertime i think it's gorgeous uh it's a really really beautiful shade and then um i'm wearing this today actually did i reapply no i didn't you can still kind of see it though. Um, I have a pink gloss over it, so that's why it's a little bit more glossy, but um, this is just a standard lipstick from them and it is in the shade Whisper. I used this in my Get Ready With Me, my last Get Ready With Me. Um, it is a perfect nude. It is seriously a perfect nude. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Um, it's just the perfect, perfect shade. It's not, it's, it's so creamy. It's very pigmented. I absolutely love it. Mary Kay does an amazing job on their lip products. Um, and then lastly, I have a lip liner from them and I have it in the shade, uh, neutral and it is a neutral shade. I have mixed this with so many different colors. Um, I've also featured this in lip picks before. Um, I just really, really, really love this specific color. I don't think the formula is like top notch. Like there are smoother, there are creamier like lip liner formulas out there, but this one really truly stays in place awesomely. Uh, awesomely? Super, it's super awesome guys. Um, I am totally running out of this lip liner and that makes me sad. Um, but it's really, really good. And yeah, I, okay guys, we covered it all. I don't even think I'm going to have to edit this video because I was on such a roll. I have been preparing for this video for like a year now, I think, because I've been trying Mary Kay products for like a year now. So I just want to give a huge thank you to those of you that stuck through this whole video and also to um one of my friends aunts who like actually um had a bunch of old mary Kay makeup and a lot of this came from that and then also to my grandma she gifted some mary Kay to me and then i also bought some mary Kay from her she's an awesome sales woman and i just would like to thank her as well um this 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 video has been planned for forever. <laughs> I'm so happy to have finally gotten it done. I hope I appeased you with all of your questions about Mary Kay. It is an amazing brand. Um, I seriously agree for what they stand for. If Have you ever guys, you guys should like read her book. It's really interesting. Um, I really, yeah, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. I don't have enough people that watch me for a sponsorship sponsor sponsorship to come my way all of this is 100 percent my opinion um all of it is the complete truth um on what i feel about this like i'm not afraid to bash some of these products um so yeah this is like my opinion on the brand of mary Kay and the, some of their products i really really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys